the time she was his fiance, the excuse he had was he was with me. And he's like, that nigga get drunk. You know them niggas, all them niggas be beefing with my boy. I can't leave my boy stranded. He on he on the enemy side of town, fucking with hoes, hanging out, drinking and shit. I can't let my boy down like that because that's my nigga. So she hated me. His wife, well, his girlfriend hated me. She hated the hell out of me because she felt like I kept a man out. And she knew he was cheating. Stupid ass nigga used to come home with hickeys and scratches, right? I, I was a single dude, so it's whatever. I, I was messing around with this chick, but it's whatever. So, one weekend, right? I dip out on a Thursday because it was a holiday weekend. I dip out on a Thursday because I didn't have to work the next day. I go hook up with my little boo at the time. My boy Derek dip out Friday. D. I didn't know he's dipping out Friday. I'm, I'm out of town. So I'm chilling. Boom. Me and little boo just knocking it off. I'm talking about I'm killing it. At the time, I'm like, what? Maybe 28, 29. She was a young tender, 21. Stag, stallion. Ugh. But look, okay, crazy shit. I do my thing, do my thing, do my thing. I come to the crib, Rachel sitting on the stairs, waiting. I come in, she's like, where Derek at? I said, hell, what are you talking about? She said, where Derek at? I said, fuck, I don't even know. I said, shit, I've been gone all weekend. She's like, mm -hmm. So I was like, what's wrong with you, man? Why you be doing all that shit? She wouldn't even say nothing, so I was like, fuck it. I start going upstairs because I lived upstairs. I get to the door to go into my hallway, and I heard the door open downstairs. Then I heard her say, nigga, where you been? He, This nigga, without skipping a beat, told her he was with me, right? Then she was like, where he at? Instead of just believing him, she was like, where he at? This nigga said, I just had, I left my old girl house. I'm going to go back over there. But I had to come home and take a shower and shit. She was like, so you left him over who house? This nigga said, this chick, Stephanie, who she knew, Rachel knew I had hit a couple times, right? So she was like, I'm going to ask Stephanie. So I'm like, God damn. You know, I'm upstairs, I'm hearing this shit. I'm like, God damn, man. So I walk downstairs, this nigga like, damn, nigga, when you get here? And he had this look on his face like, help me out, nigga, help me out. But he don't know, I just told his old lady I've been out of town. So I was like, hey, my, hey, my nigga, I don't know what the fuck y'all got going on, but I already, you know, I already told her I was out of town, nigga. So say what it is, you know what I mean? <laughs> Keep me out of that shit. So this little, this nigga Junior used to stay on the second floor. He was like, I ain't going to even lie. I was with Junior. And Junior and his wife stayed on the second floor. This nigga like, Junior over this bitch, over that bitch house, blah, 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 Stephanie bitch. Boom, this nigga just threw Junior under the bus. Junior used to cheat on his old lady, but she didn't know it. And Junior wasn't fucking with Stephanie though. So this nigga just threw Junior out, just boom. And his wife believed that shit because she was friends with his old lady. That nigga was like, shit, that's why I couldn't tell you because that's your homegirl and blah, blah, blah. So his wife, without thinking about it, just jumped up, went straight to Junior's crib. Junior out doing his thing. Told Junior's old lady. So I'm standing there talking to D Derek D. I'm like, D, what the fuck? How you just put that nigga out there like that? He just looking sad. And Junior walks in the door. I look at D, because Junior whooped that nigga ass and he knew it. I looked at D like, nigga, you gonna tell this nigga, man? You know your old lady, you know, I, I ain't say it, but you know your old lady don't went to this nigga's crib. So don't let this nigga walk in on a surprise. He cool. Derek ain't say shit. 
Then you go upstairs. I just hear yelling. Shit breaking. Boom. I'm like, dang. Dude, come on, dude. Like 45 minutes later, she walks out. Junior behind her. What the fuck? I don't give a fuck what that bitch said. That's what he said. I don't give a fuck what that bitch said. That bitch don't know shit about me. I don't even know no motherfucking Stephanie. I don't even know no motherfucking Stephanie. Right? <laughs> Junior old lady was like, she wasn't having it. She was done. She was done. Like, just that one thing. Not even no proof at all. She was done. I'm talking about her, her sister pulled up, picked her up. She did. And to fast forward it, I lived there two more years, and Junior did too. She didn't come back in that whole time, yo. But here's, here's the crazy shit, right? So he done threw Junior under the bus while he had been trying to throw me under the bus. So I'm like, shit. His old lady, like, you probably had something to do with the shit, too. I'm like, damn, Rachel, how the fuck I'm out of town? She was like, nigga, that's what you say. I don't believe that shit. What the fuck you out of town doing? Ain't none of her business. I'm a grown-ass man. I ain't fucking with her. But I was just like, boom. Now I'm about to reveal who the chick was. So I'm just like, boom. Call your sister. What the fuck you know about my sister? I say, call your sister and ask her where I was at. Her sister was cold, too. Younger than her, though. She was cold. She was like, nigga, my sister won't even fuck with niggas like you. I said, you want me to call? Nigga, you don't even know a number. Pulled out, pulled out the cell phone. Now, this is back in the day, so the phone flipped. Boom. Pulled up the contacts. Boom. Who number is that? Pulled up little text messages. Boom. Her sister didn't care, you know what I'm saying? Her sister wanted to tell her. I was the one like, nah, keep that shit low. Boom. Text talking about how good the dick was and how she like sucking his dick and how I ate that box and the whole nine just, boom, just killing it. Rachel's reading this shit. So first thing she do, she jumps on her phone, calls her sister. Bitch, you fucking with this old muscle motherfucking nigga. This nigga ain't shit. This nigga be fucking with bitch after bitch after bitch after bitch after bitch, which was true. But she knew it. She was a college girl. She wasn't studying that shit. She was just trying to have fun. She wasn't trying to marry no nigga. Boom. So her sister let her know, you know, hey, I, I'm not his girl. We just mess around. So... The sister sitting there telling her she got her mouth wide ass open, right? Bitch start hating me more because this is her little sister. But she grown, but it's her little sister. Bitch start hating me more and more, nigga. After that shit happened, her sister started coming up on the weekends. Every other weekend, I'd go down every other weekend. When she come up every other weekend, they didn't even see her, nigga. Buff naked from Friday to Sunday before she left. I'm telling you, it got to the point she didn't even bring like clothes for the whole time she was there. She brought she brought what she wore and brought something to wear home. Naked the whole time. Bang, bang, banging. Knocking it off. And what's crazy is I ain't gonna even front. No protection. I'm surprised she didn't get pregnant. But nigga <laughs> she was cold. But um me and her eventually we just kinda grew apart, you know what I mean? Cause I was out there doing my thing, you know. Fast forward to I leave town. I move out of state. Actually, I'm on Facebook. Bitch can't stand me. You know what I'm saying? This bitch Rachel. She hits me up on Facebook. Boom, friend request. I just messaged her. I was like, you know who this is? She was like, yeah. So I accepted the friend request. We started talking a little bit. I, I say, damn, you used to hate the fuck out of me. And she brought up some shit I had forgot. Like when I bought her son diapers, I bought him something to eat. I gave her a couple bucks. And that, the whole time she's hating me though. But that's my boy and that's his family. And he wasn't shit for taking care of his folks. So she said, I really appreciated that. Then she told me he had been telling her all this shit that I was, I was saying about her. And all this shit I was doing. All this old bullshit, and it was all bullshit. But her, they weren't together no more, right? It was all bullshit, though. So, 
she was like, you know, the nigga, the reason he used to do that, though, because if a good nigga's around, you can't let your girl see that's a good nigga because you ain't good. I was like, yeah, for sure. Then she was like, uh, you got a sale? I was like, yeah. She was like, let me get your sale. So, because I'm getting ready to leave and I want to talk to you and shit. Da, da, da. So I gave him a sale, right? I'm, I'm waiting for her to call me because she's driving or some shit. Boom, pictures just start coming in. Busted wide open. Boom, bent over chairs. She done thickened up. She was she was slim then. Well, back in the day, but she had thickened up. Coochie fat in a motherfucker. I was like, what's up? She was like, I texted her, what's up? She was like, why don't you come back to town? I was like, real shit? She was like, yeah. You can lay up in this motherfucker. I was like, what? She was like, you can lay up in this pussy. I'm like, damn, that's my ex-homeboy. And I'm going to do a blog about why we wasn't cool no more. It wasn't uh, trying to throw me under the bus. It was some more shit. But that was my ex-homeboy. <laughs> Girl. But he still used to be my boy, and I was trying to be a good nigga. But damn, that pussy was fat. Titties was nipples as fat as fuck. But I was like, damn, I ain't going back to be with this old though. But then, you know, she started talking some more and more. And she talked about her daughter who had moved down to Georgia. I was in Georgia at the time. And then she was like, start talking about other kids. And when I left, she had four kids. She has seven now. Seven. That shit was a turn off. Real shit. That's too many kids, though. Even though three of them was like grown or almost grown. That's too much shit. Then, you know what I'm saying? There's so many miles between here. It ain't like I'm going from uh this city to that city and it's like an hour away. This shit's mega hours. Mega hours. But old girl, you know what I'm saying? She cool people, but she just ain't my shit. But I'm about to cut this one short. But stay tuned, though, because, like I said, I, I'm going to tell why he ain't my homeboy no more. And it's some real shit. Some real G shit. But, like I said, that button down there, subscribe. Get, get at your boy. Holla at me, drop a drop a comment, whatever. We can chat it up, whatever. Holla at me. But let's grow though. I'm 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 looking for 50 by Sunday. I'm at 31 now. So 19 more so I know y'all y'all who listening or whatever, y'all know 19 people. Get them to sub. Shit, let's grow. I'm out.